In today's gaming industry, where photorealistic character designs, motion captures and Hollywood stars being cast by game studios reign, Octopath Traveler 2 remains faithful to its JRPG roots and successfully manages to deliver a unique, memorable and emotional journey with its moving soundtracks, well-written characters and rich world. During my 48 hours of Octopath Traveler 2, I felt charmed by its world building and unique pixel art design that is adorned with charming 3D graphics. It felt better than the first title, just like how a sequel should be. Despite some minor flaws, all of the 8 characters felt interesting, their character development, their journey and even their enemies felt memorable, while handling concepts such as family, fate and freedom. I'm Arcade Not here and today I'll be talking about the lovely, artistic world of Octopath Traveler 2 and how a game becomes memorable with its soundtracks, world design and characters combined. As soon as I began my journey in the world of Solistia, I was immediately captivated by the game's world building and stunning pixel art design. The charming 3D graphics added an extra layer of depth to the pixel art, making it even more visually appealing than its predecessor. Just like its prequel, we set out the world of Solistia by selecting our first character out of 8. If I were to summarize all of these 8 different characters, we have Ochet the Hunter who sets on a journey to protect her island from a calamity, we have Cassidy the Apothecary who suffers an amnesia and tries to remember the cause of it, we have Throne the Thief Assassin who is willing to kill whoever stands in our way to be free from the shackles of the Assassin's Guild, we have Oswald the Scholar whose resource is stolen, his family murdered by his best friend and thrown to prison, we have Partitio the Merchant who is looking for a way to end the poverty, we have Agnia the Dancer who tries to be the new star of Solistia just like her mother was, we have Temenos the Detective Cleric who is trying to unveil the secrets of the Church of the Sacred Flame and finally we have Hikari who is exiled from his own kingdom by his elder brother. Your very first character will be your main party leader until you finish its own story, meaning that you can change the rest 3 members of your party later on. I started my journey with Trone the Thief due to her abilities of stealing items from any NPC depending on her level. You can easily steal any item, whether it be like a healing item, a weapon or even an armor, helping you to gear up your team without spending any money. Each and every character has their own different purposes, a different ability that would benefit your team, but I think I would recommend you to either use Throne's stealing ability or Agnia's lure ability to earn free stuff by making them subscribe to your OnlyFans. And this time all characters have two different abilities, one for J and one for night. While Throne is still during the day, she ambushes an NPC making them faint during the night, which would help you to access new areas in a town. However, as I mentioned before, the world of Solistia feels alive, as different NPCs or even side quests appear during different times of a day, with soundtracks and atmosphere changing from day to night. I'm sure you'll be impressed with the level of detail in each region or city that you visit during your experience. The world of Solistia is rich and diverse and with each character's first story, you get to see a different face of Solistia, a diverse atmosphere greets you. With Throne you get to see a bigger city that somewhat resembles 19th century England or with Partitio you get to see a western-like town trying to survive in poverty. With Hikari you get to see a dynasty that is blended with both Chinese and Japanese aesthetics and beliefs that is founded in a desert land. Octopath Traveler 2 successfully delivers a world that is built upon realism and then developed with magic, fantasy and pixel sprites supported by charming background visuals, forging the unique art design of Octopath Traveler 2. It does an excellent job at blending the retro and modern aesthetics, it is somewhat nostalgic as if you are playing the JRPG classics of SNES or PlayStation 1 era. But on the other hand, it's fresh in concept, gameplay style and most importantly, storytelling. I have never thought of Octopath Traveler as a dull, recycled JRPG that we already seen countless of times before. 
From the very first moment you pick your character, you are greeted by an intense story that introduces your character and the world builds that you need to know for that time, all while presenting pixel art character sprites that are reminiscent of classic RPGs from the 16-bit era. However, as I mentioned before, these sprites also look fresh, as they are rendered in stunning detail and with fluid animations that make them feel alive. And you feel this alive characters and world in all Solistia. On the other hand, one of the most striking things about Octopath Traveler's setting is how it seamlessly blends fantasy and realism. During one of your adventures, you might find yourself fighting against a band of thieves and during another story, you might find yourself discovering the concept of a department store or steam engine. Octopath Traveler 2 offers a roller coaster of emotions through 8 different characters that are supported with art design and the world build filled with different cultures, beliefs, threats and atmosphere. The vibrant lush environments of Octopath Traveler 2 will keep your experience fresh and interesting. Although Octopath Traveler 2 offers 8 different characters to start with, I believe there are no correct ways to start your journey and I know some will tell you to pick this and then regret that to access the best and maybe the most optimal playthrough but if you are willing to discover and want to have this freedom that I'm talking about then you can have it. Octopath Traveler 2 has a unique setup as it offers non-linear approach allowing players to experience the game in their own unique way. Later on, the different character paths intersect in interesting and unexpected ways, unveiling more about the world of Solistia and how eight characters' journey actually bond with each other, as they are destined to meet from the start, featuring deep and interesting lore that is quite memorable. And I don't know how they did it, how they managed to compose such soundtracks, but its boss theme somehow makes me emotional each time I hear it and I believe it's due to how successfully they built the storytelling, character development, new events happening and then they hit you when all of these aspects are at their peak moment. Closing it with a boss fight playing that emotional soundtrack. To be honest I think it's really impressive how they create such an interesting yet captivating world building as each character's story intervenes with the larger narrative of Octopath Traveler 2. You'll experience how characters interact with each other, supporting their journey, adding flavor to your experience while uncovering a larger plot that ties everything together. Without giving any spoilers, just like in the first Octopath Traveler, all of the stories, their background and even the villains are somehow connected in some way, in a way that makes sense. These characters meeting never feels forced in any way as you tend to understand more about the background and what Octopath Traveler is cooking by each story you finish. Even though characters like Ochet feel a bit unimpactful during their tales, you start to see the bigger picture and what each character's purpose actually is. As for me, I think I mostly enjoyed Sorone, Temenos and Oswald's stories, however as characters overall impact and the flavor that they bring were quite memorable. But at its core, Octopath Traveler is all about adventure. It's about the characters trying to reach their goal, trying to have their revenge or achieving their dreams. You can capture your monster enemies with Ochet to later use them in battle or even pay money for hired help with Partitio to deal an insane amount of damage. Just like the prequel, Octopath Traveler 2's combat system is built upon exploring the weakness of your enemies, breaking their shield to stun them to deal heavy damage. And unfortunately there are some times that you might need to grind experience for a boss or delve deeper into the dungeons to gather better gear for your team. I need to say that having a good gear is more important than just leveling up your characters. However rather than its combat mechanics or JRPG strategies to overcome the bosses, it will be Pixel Surprise, the animation that would hook you to Octopath Traveler 2. There are many enemies, many spells and special attacks to do and they are all uniquely crafted in this world. The camera zooms and pans dynamically to show off while performing a high BP special attack that will deal high damage while listening to the orchestral themes and haunting melodies that enhance the atmosphere. Octopath Traveler 2 proves that not all games need to be hyper-realistic to be unique, memorable and emotionally impactful. 
the game's soundtrack, world design and characters all come together to create a memorable experience. Octopath Traveler 2 offers one of the most memorable JRPG experiences that you can play. You might even feel like playing 8 different JRPG titles that are connected at the very end, presenting a well-written plot and a unique world, surrounded by memorable characters, a vibrant art design and moving soundtracks. It is highly recommended for anyone with a hunger for JRPG experiences or if you really want to enter a world full of light and shadow, good and evil living in harmony. As always, thanks for watching today's video and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support. Be sure to follow me on Twitter to see what I'm doing besides editing videos and get a sneak peek for any upcoming contents. Stay tuned.